One of the topics I'm going to touch upon with uh, the two of you is um, mixed-use projects. Uh, generally, they are the projects that, that are the hardest to do. They cause the most brain damage. They're the most expensive. But uh, you all have a knack for doing them extraordinarily well. Talk with me a little bit about the commitment that you make to this type of development. Well, we have, over time, have learned how to do mixed-use projects. Um, we think extremely well. It has certainly come um, on the tail of a fair amount of experience. We've had uh, experiences, perhaps, that haven't been as successful. But the one thing that we have learned about doing mixed-use development is the complexity of it. Um, it really is very complicated from beginning to end. And as is consistent with most of our corporate philosophy, we realized to be the best mixed-use developer, we needed to assemble a talented team that were experts in each of the different product types. And then we had the advantage of having them all collaborate, be in the room, um, and we can work through the best design, the best solutions for projects to come up with the best, best mixed-use projects. Uh, an example I've used before is that when you're looking at a site, uh, sometimes it's very obvious sort of what is sort of the best side of the site or where the main door wants to be on a site. And when we're all looking at this within our firm, um, we don't have the retail uh, group only fighting for that when the hotel group also needs to understand where they fit in the overall development as well as the residential and the office. So we're there in a position where we have the luxury of being able to sort of break those ties and we are able to then come up with projects which we think work better uh, in the long run because they are conditioned and our negotiations are internal uh, as opposed to with external parties. Yeah, just to uh, reiter reiterate what Brian said, the key uh, to mixed use really is um, balance of all the uses. And having a uh, number of uses that it, where you, you take in, into account all the needs of these different product types and then figuring out how to best put them together without really compromising one uh, to a great extent. I think that's really the key. And if we add up the sum of the, uh, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts, mm -hmm. that really has to be the goal here. One other thing that I'd like to add is that we, we have also found over time that given some of the demographic changes that are occurring and given the desirability, people want to live in mixed-use environments. Um, we, we know that's not unique just to our market. That's happening across the country. And we feel, we, we look at some of these projects as, as more than just isolated projects where we really feel like we're changing communities and we have the opportunity to go in, provide the full complement of amenities um, that, that people who are working there, people who are living there, people who are shopping there would like to have. And uh, a lot of what we do is really metro oriented. We're very focused on transportation and transportation networks. So here in our local market, uh, a lot of what we do will be near metro modes. And again, we feel like that in the long run is the place to put the most dense projects. Uh, and when you look at complexity, the most dense projects with the, with the greatest mix of uses uh, built in very tightly constrained areas on top sometimes of public transit systems, you get a sense for the complexities of some of these projects. But when done well, we think we really create very unique and enduring projects.